want to die, death is a constant reminder here. We're people we kill, we in that. You ain't supposed to be alive. Killing, shooting people, doing whatever I had to do. We have to make a living. I want him dead. I want his family dead. I know how to grind. I started from the bottom. Never ride on your friends. Race to rackets. It's rough on a black man. Hold up, we're going to blow this whole... What's going on, people? Now, it's been a minute since I touched on some MC content, so here we go. Now, James Jimmy D. DiGregorio, he was a higher ranking member of the Penguins Motorcycle Club in South Jersey and Philadelphia area. Now, he was the club chemist. His job would be to cook up the meth. He took a lot of pride in his leadership, and he said out of his own mouth, you give me six Pagans, and I could take over the country. Now, the Pagans was no stranger to doing business with Lacoste Genosha. They could be used as muscle to collect gambling and loan sharking debts, or even hits when the mob chooses to go outside the family. Now, after the underboss Peter Casella was suspected of plotting the murder of Tester, who was killed by a nail bomb, Scarfo forced him into retirement and became the boss. In addition to his term being the most violent time in the family's history, Scarfo initiated a street tax. It applied to bookmakers, loan sharks, drug dealers, and other people engaged in illegal activities in Philadelphia and in South Jersey. Now, Scarfo Crazy Ass even decided to tax the Pegasus Motorcycle Club. <laughs> so just imagine your boss sending you to go extort the motorcycle gang. You'll be lucky to even make it out alive. Now, the Pegasus wasn't having it, of course. They actually laughed in their faces, which isn't surprising. So the Mafia decided to put the pressure on the Pegasus and kidnap one of the affiliate suppliers. So that would basically slow their business down. Now, James DiGregorio wasn't feeling it at all. So on February 26, 1981, he decided not only kidnap one, but kidnap two made men from the Philadelphia crime family. Now, DiGregorio spotted two mobsters in a vehicle and found himself in the back seat pointing a 45 up to the head of the driver, telling him to drive through the streets of downtown Philadelphia. Now, they get to Broad and Walnut and the driver spots cops on the street. So the driver decides to tell Jimmy D if he's going to shoot him, he has to do it right now. So the mobster pulls over near the sidewalk by the cops, gets out, and start running. Now, Jimmy D lit him up right in front of the cops. <laughs> now, and of course, he was arrested, and the mobster would survive. Now, D. Gregorio ended up making a $750 bell. Yes, the mob wasn't the only ones with the connections. But after the incident, Scarfo decided to scratch the pagan's name off of the extortion list, which was a long list. Now, there was even legitimate businesses on there. You had pizza and tattoo shops, bars, strip clubs. If you was making a dime on his turf, he was getting parts. Now, that wasn't the only time the Pagans would bump heads with the Philly mob. Shortly after the Jimmy D incident, a truce was called, and they would go on to do business. Now, allegedly, a sit-down took place between the two parties to discuss partnership and meth distribution. Chucky Merlino didn't like what he heard, so he stormed out the building. As he pulled out the parking lot, he ended up hitting the bikes of the Pagans. Now, it was said that someone of the Pagans ended up with a broken leg, and the Mafia ended up paying for the damages for the bikes and the injuries after some gun smoke was exchanged. Now, it's been alleged that they had an address on Chucky Merlino, and the house was mistakenly shot up. And it was also said that the Merlinos grew up with the Philadelphia's pagan leader, Stephen Gorilla, Mono Regime, and they had a good relationship. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's more to the stories, but unfortunately, that's all I got for now. So hit me up in the comments, hit the like button, and always remember, it's free. <laughs> now, shout out to all the new viewers and subscribers. Thanks for watching. I'm out.